Hey there, it is Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I just wanted to come live and give you guys this t tutorial real quick. Uh, I guess it's really bright out here. I wanted to start outside on my porch so that you guys could see kind of what I'm trying to do here. I am going to give us the live tutorial on the um, succulent pumpkins that I posted earlier this week. And I wanted to kind of show you where mine were gonna go. So I'm gonna flip it around and show you uh, the little area that I have that's just perfect right out front of my door. And you can create this too if you want. All right, so this is minus my husband's water hose thing. A little planter box that I have out front of my house. You can hear, it's a busy road I live on. Hey there, when you hop on live or replay, let me know who's here and where you're from so we can keep tabs. All right, so I'm just showing y'all the um, area that I am gonna place my succulent pumpkin for fall decorations. I need to clean it, obviously. But yeah, so, all right, this is kind of right at my front door, you can kind of see. All right, so I am gonna hop in here and we're gonna get started. Uh, I'm trying to kind of hurry so that I can finish up before my hubby gets back. He went uh, running some errands for me, so we'll see. Let's go. How are y'all today? When you hop on here, just tell me who you are and where you are watching me from. And... Uh, our, as our group is growing hugely, I'm super excited. We're going to be rolling out some new things. Um, so be sure and hit notifications in the top uh, part of the page so that you can get notices every time we do something. If you hear something in the background, y'all, that is my dog. She is begging to come in here and be with us, but that's just not going to happen. So I am making this uh, craft uh I, I didn't make it ahead of time, so I am just winging it, y'all. I'm gonna spin this around. Okay, so what you're gonna need for today's project is what I have out here. I got my handy crafty uh, hot glue gun out. This is just a little drill. You don't have to use a drill, y'all. I just, this is what I had handy. You can totally use just a regular screwdriver. Um, it does not have to be a drill. And then just some raffia, some extra hot glue sticks, some succulents that I got at Hobby Lobby, y'all. And it's just any succulents that you um, like on the, you know, for this project. It doesn't have to be any certain colors, but they, I love all the different colors that it comes in. What do y'all think? Do y'all like the purple? I love the purple and the red, it's pretty. All right, and so this is also just a craft pumpkin and you can just get these at Walmart or the Dollar Tree or um, I got mine at Hobby Lobby. So you can get these anywhere. You can get all sizes, whatever size you want. So to start out with, I thought I would um, start by making some marks on the pumpkin. Yes, this is the scary part. I'm just gonna make some random marks on the pumpkin. You can use paint, acrylic paints, or you can use um, marker for this. I'm just gonna use marker because it's easy for me. And I'm just gonna make some random lines down the pumpkin. This is totally optional, y'all. I'm just trying to make them look a little more, have a little more depth than what they came with, all right? So this is brown, just a brown Crayola marker that I'm using. You can kind of see what it's doing here for me. Just wiping it clear. I don't have a good stand yet for um, this tutorial, so I am using a funky contraption. 
Y'all be sure and tell me where you're watching from and who's on here. It's not showing me. So I want to know. Again, you can use paint with a paintbrush if you want it more uh, prominent. And I'm just doing every few of them. Just about got them all. Y'all are quiet today. I came on live early in the day so I was hoping to grab some people at lunchtime. Not quite sure what everybody has on their menus today for going on. But this, if you can see, just gave it a little more um, depth in the spots that I felt like needed it. I can actually go over this darker or leave it like this. I think I might do a little bit of um, black. And this is just really personal, personal um, preference here, y'all. And look, I made a big fat mess going with the black. But this is what I'm going to do. Later, I'm going to get a Q-tip and I'm going to wipe that down. All these spots that I got on it. Hey, Miss Becky, you are in Slidell. Yes, you are. LaDonna, so good to have you on here from Forney. That is awesome. How's the weather there today? Hey, Miss Hillary. But you can make it as dark or as light as you want. I decided just now <laughs> I don't like the way that looks. So like I said, I'm going to get some um, just rubbing alcohol. We'll get that off. Of course, I didn't have it handy, but I will use some and get this off so that um, I don't have the one little dark spot but it kind of gives it some character and you can just go around. I do like what the, um, and guys, if y'all will bear with me for one second, I'm gonna put this camera over on a different uh, holder so that you can see better. This isn't showing y'all the whole, the whole shebang. And actually, I'm gonna spin it, just spin it around. Here we go. Thanks for hanging in there. Let's see. All right. Is that better, y'all? Can you see? You know what? My camera is backwards. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Facebook does not like you to spin it around. So we're just going to finish like this. And y'all need to let me know if you cannot see. Which is better, y'all? What, what was before or now? Okay, so I'm getting texts here. All right, go ahead and uh, comment and let me know. Hey, Leah, how are you today? So we um, are doing the tutorial for the succulent pumpkin. You can hear my dog begging in the background to come in here. Actually, I don't mind this black, y'all. It's not too bad. But basically what I did was I went through here and I... Uh, Ah, my chair just sunk down. Took a marker. So this is just a Crayola marker. Um, there we go. Crayola marker. And you just kind of put on here whatever stripes you want just to give it some depth and dimension. I love that it doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. I'm going ahead and doing the rest of these. Have y'all, um, have any of y'all done a fire in your fireplace yet? I begged for one this morning, but my husband wouldn't do one. I guess he thinks we'll be gone later and he didn't really want to start one. And then us not be here, even though it's gas, y'all, it's gas. Can you see me? Okay, so... I am almost finished getting this, um, I don't want 
want this to be on me, but I need y'all to see what, what I'm doing here. Okay. Just about got all these lines on here. Can you see what I did? I don't know if the light's being friendly to us, but here's the top and here's the side. You can sort of see what I did with the marker. I'm just winging this, y'all. So, all right, we've got that. You like that setup in the background? Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, y'all. You gotta love it. Okay, so we're gonna get to the serious part. I'm going to put the camera on the project so we can just get this on the show on the road. All right, so I already kind of started a hole just to make sure that it would drill for me. And so I am gonna drill, hello, I thought I was. There we go. Drill little starter holes, just kind of random, but I'm gonna do one like closer to the thing. And there is no perfect um, way to do this. I probably should count how many, um, succulents I have. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to want to scatter them. And it's okay if I mess up because most of all of this will be, um, whoa, hello, you like that? Most of all of this will be hidden. Hmm. I'm going to put this one over here. A little more towards the outside. And these are just starter holes to kind of get um, it started so we can get the succulents in here, y'all. And again, these just came from Hobby Lobby. I will probably rearrange these a hundred times before I have them how I want them. Okay, so let's see here. It looks like I'm going to need to also trim them because... Um, Oh, and look, this one comes apart. Okay, y'all, this is just uh, floral tape on here. So it looks like I can take these two apart, but it looks like my scissors are no match for the wires, so I'll need wire cutters. But in the meantime, now I can fit this down in my starter hole hello but now I'm, there we go and there are other ways to do this y'all but this is just my way that I completely made up so anyway take your little tags off hey miss Judy how are you today how is the bank? All right, so I'm gonna put this um, fun one, this like kind of a fern one out to the side, the furthest. This light is too bright for y'all. I don't know. There we go. The furthest hole out. All right, so now we've got one succulent and a little fern thingy, and I liked the way it gave it a little bit of um, depth on here, a little bit of texture that's different than the rest. All right, this buddy is really big. This one right here, it's a really pretty one. So I'm definitely gonna find a spot for it. All right, y'all, I'm probably gonna have to drill a bigger hole, maybe like, what is it, like a double hole? If it'll let me. Okay, I have a bigger hole now. It's kinda non-perfect. And I'm jamming this down in here. And now I've got him on there. So it's pretty so far, huh? 
Give me some hearts and thumbs if you like it. If you're watching this on replay, be sure and share the video. We always send out something to those who share. We draw, we draw somebody random from those who share. I'm gonna go ahead and take these two apart. And this makes two. Woo! Two succulents. These are kind of expensive, guys, to me. Um, so I am trying to make them go a little further. I'm gonna put this one close to the top. And then I've got a few more. I may have miscounted. Oh yeah, we've doubled up some of these, so I have more than I thought. And yes, my shirt says Sunday Fun Day, and there's a, a story with that. Um, we have a volleyball game to go to tonight, and this is my only warm shirt that is the color of um, our team. So Sunday it is. All right. I'm getting just a bigger hole on this one. And like I said, I think anything, I think anything you use on here would be fine. Just something to make a big old hole. You could um this is just a really fat one, y'all. Has a really fat stem. But I got it down in there. All right, he's a little bit, so here we go. He's a little bit too uh, close to this other one. I feel like he crowds it. So I am going to um, take him off here. And that's what's great too. You can just move these around. And I'm gonna put him in there and see if I can't. I'm gonna find somewhere else for him. I'm gonna put, let's see here. Have y'all turned on your heat yet? Y'all tell me if you've turned on your heat yet. We turned it on for sure. All right, my hole's not big enough. You know what, I might try about scissors. Oh yeah, y'all, just go to town with your scissors. All right, that's better to me. And then I'm gonna put my little one up here in the starter hole that I did do for the little one. Okay, y'all, one more hole and this part will be done. thinking trying to decide y'all need to help me here I'm trying to figure out where the best place to put this last one is this is it so far and yes I still have the stem in here I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that I'm thinking right maybe here for this one or right here Hmm. Yeah, I think right up top here. Hello. All right, so we're gonna make one big hole for this. if I'm happy with the way it looks or if I want to move some things around I feel like I'm, I'm I want to move this a little bit no big deal no one's gonna see the hole there we go I think I have it how I want it y'all
so this is the succulents with the little fern hanging down. And then, I and it's all uh, dimensions. It's tall, it's short, it's long. We've got everything on here. Now I'm gonna do the fun part, which is the raffia. Y'all, raffia makes everything better, doesn't it? Y'all need to tell me what you all are doing different for your decor this fall. And tell me if y'all did the uh, tutorial that I did on the marbleized pumpkins. This comes in a big long thing, y'all. I'm just going to cut it a section. I'm gonna take out a section make it pretty long and I'm going to take a section of the section again I am making this up y'all I'm not sure I think that's still too much maybe a quarter of the section and I'm thinking about just kind of um, fixing it around the, uh, maybe even tying it around, if not just gluing it around <laughs> the top. This is the beauty of live, is you can just wing it while everybody watches. All right, y'all, so I am just tying a knot. I know you can't see it, but I am just tying a knot. And I'm pretty positive I am not leaving it like that. All right. So I don't like the way this looks. I am going to go to plan B, which is just to make little bows of raffia. So just take the raffia Bring it together, tie it in the middle, and there's my bow. I think I'm going to glue it down right in the middle. Y'all holler if you can't see this. You know what? Oh my gosh, of course, my hot glue stick is too short. I can smell it. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I am just gluing my bow on here and having it kind of help cover up some of the spots on the top that are imperfect. What do y'all think so far? <laughs> yeah, Becky, the, the knot wasn't working for me. The knot was not working for me. I'm thinking of maybe um, one more bow kind of want it to have a little more texture to it. So let's do one more bow while I have the raffia out making a big fat mess. So y'all can see the raffia mess. It doesn't take much y'all. So probably that much.
Okay, then we're gonna make the bow. Just tie it together. There's our bow. I'm gonna tie a bow for it because it's not really tight enough. All right, so there's our bow. And then I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put it on here. I'm thinking about this other side. I'll show y'all as soon as I can figure out the perfect spot. Just need a little more oomph to it. Hey now, it's getting a little carried away. I'm getting into some raffia mess. Okay, I think I like it over here but I, my bow messed up, y'all. I'm just gonna take another little piece and tie it again. You really just, you can't mess up raffia. Okay, I'm gonna put this permanent. I'm going to make semi-permanent. I'm making the glue gun. Woo! Burn myself, y'all. Alright, so I've got this one over on the opposite side, but still kind of working towards covering up my stem of the pumpkin because I really didn't want the stem of my pumpkin showing. So this is just something that you guys can personalize, you can play with, you can mess with, but this is kind of where I'm at with this. And again, the, um, I don't know if you can see it on here, but the, um, Oh, yay, you're in the Bahamas. I'm so glad y'all are having such a good time. This beautiful pictures, Debbie. All right, so there is some uh, brown here. Let me, let me turn this light down so maybe that'll help us. Oh, yeah. Okay, y'all, much better. You can see the brown here that I put with the marker first to kind of help um, give it some depth because this was just a plain cream pumpkin. And then we've got the succulents on top, this little fern one. And then uh, we've got a couple of raffia bows. One right over here on this side and one over here on this side. He's, this one's still not behaving for me. I'm gonna work on him. And then I will do like I always do and post a picture of this final project in its final resting place outside in my planter so you can see it but yeah I think it's really pretty and um, it took us just a second to do it if I would have had a good idea of what I was gonna do first um, it probably wouldn't have taken as long hey there so listen y'all if you um, if you like these and you want me to keep doing sorry it, the camera's on the wrong side today if you want me to keep doing these and you like them, just comment below and let me know. And if you are watching this live, I appreciate it if you share. And if you're watching this on replay, I appreciate it if you share too. I think my husband's home. I told y'all he ran errands. Um, sorry, my house is a complete disaster. So, um, ah, and we have lights everywhere for y'all to see. But this is, hello, my pumpkin uh, succulent project. And I look forward to seeing all of y'all's on here too. Comment below if you plan on doing this project and let me know and uh, come back and post your results if you do it as well. Talk to you later. Bye.